Contrary to what one might think, wood ash is not a fertilizer, but an amendment, an amendment rich in calcium, potash, potassium, and trace elements. It also contains magnesium, but there is no nitrogen in the ashes. The composition of wood ash, as I mentioned, is very rich in calcium. Its pH is 10, which is very high. To convince ourselves, we will do a little experiment. We will pour some vinegar on wood ashes. And we can immediately see that there is an emulsion, proof that there is a lot of calcium in wood ash. So you understand, we cannot use wood ashes everywhere. If you spread them, for example, on acid-loving plants, well, they will not tolerate it because calcium is not suitable for them, especially for all plants that prefer acidity. So we refer to the plants known as acid-loving plants. We do not apply it everywhere. We will use it more in the vegetable garden for beans, tomatoes, and a little for potatoes if desired. As a general rule, for the vegetable garden, we can spread wood ashes. There are good and bad ashes. Good ashes are those that come from logs, from your insert or your fireplace. The bad ashes are all those boards that are burned, pallets, old furniture and pressure treated wood which are very toxic and rich in heavy metals, so to be excluded. Wood ashes, since they are rich in calcium, are an excellent moss killer. If you have moss in your lawn, spread a handful per square meter and you will get rid of the moss. Wood ash is an excellent fungicide to combat fungi such as white rot of garlic, onions or shallots. It is said that wood ash is a slug repellent. I have some reservations about its effectiveness. Because as soon as there is moisture on the ashes, snails and slugs crawl over them. And then there is another problem. If you surround, for example, hostas to prevent snails from getting inside, know that if you keep them out, you often trap them inside. And be careful. If you put an excess of ashes at the base of the plants, sometimes the plants cannot tolerate it. Another property of ashes is that it is a pesticide to repel fleas, but it can also be used as a wash on trees to replace, why not, lime. So, we will take the ash and we will sift it very finely. We could use it directly like that. After adding water, we make a sort of paste. But to make it a little more consistent, so that it can stick along the trunk, well, I suggest mixing it with clay. Clay, which will be an excellent binder on the trees. Thus, in case of heavy rainfall, the ash will remain stuck to the trunks of the trees.